Same thing as always, raise hand and we'll go to questions. Hey, how y'all doing today? Eric. Hey, Kelvin, I hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to ask, so you're coming from a program at LSU that sort of seems to reciprocate out um, all uh, all pro DBs like Jamal, you got Trey White, all them. Um, what sort of, um, I guess, motivation, and is it different uh, being or coming to here in a spot where you're in an already elite group of DBs, but maybe not a group that's known for uh, the play in the backfield. So I just want to know what you think you can do to help out make a name at this program in the defensive backfield. And obviously, is it any different preparing here compared to somewhere like LSU? <laughs> hey, Eric, how you doing? It's a, it's a challenge. It's a standard you got to hold yourself every day. It's, it's an honor to be a part of the DBU group at LSU. And I feel like coming here at Kentucky, it's, it's going to be some great things happening because I'm surrounded by a lot of good players and we can do good things. Like, just just because we don't have the, I guess, known for a DBU, I feel like we finna prove that, though. Like, we might not be DBU, but we're going to show y'all we the best DB stepping on the field. Kelvin, they, they, uh, Coach White talked a lot about getting in the playbook. What's so difficult about about learning this playbook um, and, and figuring out the defense? Well, every every playbook could be difficult if you don't study. I feel like this 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 playbook that we are in right now is is very challenging. So you have to separate and break down the key little notes and key words to understand. But I feel like just being a student of the game will help you go a different level, like just by studying your playbook, studying your schoolwork, film studies, like just knowing what's about to happen before it happens. What what position are you primarily focusing on right now? Uh, DB, in the position. <laughs> well, right now I'm playing corner though, but I'm yeah. I'm practicing for in the position. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks. Josh, Kelvin, you're in an interesting spot. You kind of you enrolled mid year, um, but you're still kind of I assume getting part of the rotation there. What what do you view yourself as? Do you kind of feel more like those freshmen coming in, or do you are you kind of helping along, helping those guys along a little bit more? When I <laughs> when I first came in, it felt like I was a freshman because I didn't do the wave. I just red shirt, so I was on the scout team, but. I just challenge myself every day to get better and work the little things. And right now, since I've been with the ones, and we're basically the defense and not the scout team, just bringing everybody together, the fund and understanding the little things, and it, it, it's just gonna take us further, like as a brotherhood and on the field, like we we gonna know what what to do, like we know what each other expect. Some of the other DBs have talked about the, the wanting to make more plays, uh, the interceptions, breakups, that kind of thing. What are you seeing as in, from development-wise there? Is that happening or? Oh, yeah. We're we going to make a lot of plays. We're going to make a lot of plays for sure. That's, that's not going to be a question. It's just on us to make. Larry? Kelvin, a lot of guys maybe sometimes will try to make sure they don't do anything to kind of try to add any pressure or anything. You seem to kind of relish going ahead and just speaking right what's on your mind. And if people have big expectations for you, that's fine with you. Am I understanding that right or do I have that wrong? Yeah. I feel like I'm going to just say what's on my mind every time. Like, what's the point of sugarcoating if I, if I know what we could do? Like, I'm not going to keep it a secret. Like, we're not getting the respect that we're supposed to be getting. So, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to let the fans know because I already know y'all know. I'm going to just let the people know who who not respecting us that we on the way, like, and we not playing. <laughs> Derek? 
Kelvin, uh, Vito Tisdell is getting quite a bit of praise from some of your teammates and also the coaching staff. I was just wondering what he's doing right now, what you're seeing from him in practice that uh, is so impressive. I've been, I've been seeing a lot of interceptions, a lot of plays being made. It's just small stuff that he needs to work on. I'm going to get with him. We're going to get more in the playbook so he can know everything front to back and be ready to play come week one. Nick. Kellen, I, I know you're hanging out some with Will Boozy this summer. Uh, <laughs> how do you know him? And are you turning him into a Kentucky fan? Yeah, Boozy, he a Kentucky fan for sure. Like, it's just like Louisiana people, we all stick together. Baton Rouge, really. Boozy, he like somebody we looked up to, like, not just for what he done in the rap game, just by uh, doing it in community, like giving back doing for his fans, free shows, all that. Like, LaBoo's a good person. Like, people just think rap was just all about rapping. Like, at the end of the day, they got a family. They just doing it to make money. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you think he'll come to the, the game? Sorry. Didn't mean to talk over. You, you. I know it's weird now, but you think he'd be up to doing one of those free shows at a game? <laughs> I feel like. He gonna come check us out, especially <laughs> the best. He like basketball too, so he gonna be at the basketball game for sure. We have some fans check out one of them. He gotcha. he checked out my my uh my homeboy Javante Smart. He was sideline. It's like my brother at LSU, so I be checking him out. He came out there one time with his LSU jersey on, but we gotta get him in Kentucky. <laughs> nice, nice. Thanks, Kevin. I'm not sure we can end it on anything better than that. So uh, I don't see any more questions. We'll wrap it up with Kelvin and uh, get the next guy up in here. See you in a few minutes. Right, doing business with y'all. Appreciate it.